All right, good afternoon everybody. Today we're going to go over a few more things on your Riveting Lab 1. Um, today we are going to learn how to dimple the rivets. I'm going to show, officially show you. Some of you have already done it. I've demonstrated to a few of you, but we're going to dimple the rivet and then I'm going to rivet um, the AN426 AD4 rivets here, okay? So the first thing you have to do, there is a, you gotta make sure it's the right size dimple die on here. And I've got it set up so it's very simple, all right? Stick the, um, stick the hole in there and then you just press. So one side is a, is a male side, one is a female side, and that's the dimple that you get when you're done, okay? Then when you stick, some people say, oh, how do I know it's deep enough? We'll stick the rivet in there and it should be flushed just, a, you can have it stick out just a little bit because when you go to rivet it, it will um, go below the, the flush line, all right? Okay, next thing I want to do is, let's do this here. Demonstrate how to rivet the AN426 AD4 rivet. My PPE. So the first thing we need to do, we, stick, we have to determine what rivet we're going to use, okay? And how do we do that? The gauge, right? Okay, so that is how you determine your rivet. What is another way, anybody remember the other way of determining if the rivet is long enough or short enough, yes? Use the other one, or use another one. Use another one and it's supposed to be how much is supposed to protrude out of the hole. One and a half times the diameter of this rivet is what you need to have uh, sticking out the back. This gauge does that for you, okay? So my, that is right on. It's, I, can, I cannot see anything through that the gap there, so it's perfect. Next, I'm going to rivet this. Well, first, I have to show you the gun setup. This is a flush rivet set here. See how it is smooth on the top. There's a little bit of a little concave here, but you'll like that. It'll be good. I uh, you have to use a different spring. Just a minute uh, for this set, okay? Because um, where's my beehive? See the flush <laughs> won't go through the beehive, all right? So we're gonna do that. That is set up on the rivet gun. I've also set my air pressure up. Um, it should be the same as your uh, 470 AD4 rivets, the air pressure, okay? When you go to rivet the, the um, AD3 rivets, the smaller ones, like this, you'll use less air pressure or less trigger, okay? So make sure you set your gun up for what you're going to rivet. Otherwise, if you go to pound this rivet with the air pressure set for the bigger ones, what's it going to do? Smash it. It's just smash your, and you're going to bend your sheet, and then you won't pass that part. So what is the, so how do you know if you have successfully riveted these rivets to an airworthy standard? How do we know? Do you check them? <laughs> you need to check them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, first, just like the uh, universal heads, no damage on the uh, head end, right? So to do damage with this, you really gotta either hit it very hard or get slip off. It. The hardest thing about the countersunk rivets is gun control, right? It's not what you all think. I think gun control and I think rivet gun, right? So it's keeping that, keeping the gun steady on your work, not letting it drift all over, okay? And I lost my rivet out of there, didn't I? All right. So the one criteria is the the um, the head end, no damage, right? And on the bucked end, what should you? What is what makes it a successful rivet? If it's bucked properly, it is. It's flat on the top, and you the the when you use the gauge on it. It does, the gauge doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the sheet. The head is supposed to prevent this gauge from slipping down, right? 
that's how you determine if you have an airworthy rivet. Okay? Same as on the other rivets, so um, I'm going to go ahead and shoot this one and then we'll test it out. Okay, you also notice that I, I have my, my thumb on the sheet here just to give me stability on the rivet. All right. And that doesn't look wide enough. Nope. Got to go a little more. Almost. So um, you see that, like on you guys on this side, you could see my gun was moving around, wasn't it? Yeah. It's very hard to keep it on that rivet. So you just got to work with it, experiment. You're not, I'm not expecting you to get uh, on this level. If you get five good ones, that's the grade, okay? Don't come see me if you have smiles on them or if they're under buck. Check them yourself before you bring them to me. If you're having problems, come see me and I will help you with what you know, I need, what, where you're having problems with. But um, go ahead, make sure you finish all of your Universal Dash 4 rivets first. So all of these need to be bucked here, okay? I had uh, somebody in class this morning that did all 80 of them in the first hour. So, yeah, Woo. she cranked them out. She was good, so. All right, thank you. Go ahead and get back to your lab now.